Adopting a pet from a shelter is probably one of the better things you can do in your lifetime. You save the life of an animal and you gain a friend that enhances your own life. But what about horses that are neglected, even abused, and deserving a new forever home? Well, that's where a place called Redemption Road Rescue in Jackson comes in. Their volunteers are dedicated to rescuing, rehabbing, and rehoming deserving horses. A lot of them have been neglected. A lot of them have been abused, actually. You know, we have horses that are just petrified. And then they're going from being completely neglected, completely starved, to, to a situation that's unbelievable. The people at Redemption Road Rescue in Jackson, Tennessee, believe in unbelievable happy endings. Lori Collins founded the group after her first rescue in 2009. That was on a visit to her ailing father's farm in Kentucky. He had always had horses that were in immaculate condition, beautiful, healthy horses. And when I got there, nobody had been feeding his horses, and so they were in terrible condition. I always consider those my first rescue, and that's the reason I say that good people get in a bad situation. Had he physically been able to, he would have never even allowed that to happen. Soon Lori was running a nonprofit organization, raising money from donors, and reaching out to as many horses in need as possible. What attracted me to Redemption Road was the idea of non-judgment of the people who are get, maybe getting in bad situations. Look at you, Calvin. Look at you, big guy. Melissa Floyd is also a lifelong horse lover and now assistant director at the rescue, a place where the former owners are rarely cast as bad guys. Sometimes it's, uh, it's income based where they've lost their jobs. Um, sometimes they, they get sick. You know, we've had several people who have gotten sick and are unable to maintain their horses. To Lori and Melissa, it can be as much about helping people as helping animals. When people get in a short time of a financial difficulty, we will provide hay for them through a short time to help them get through that so they can keep their pet. On any given day here, you'll see from about 30 to 40 horses in various stages of rehab and in all sizes. Lately, a lot of mini horses. People get them thinking they're like a dog, but reality, they are a horse and they need to be treated like a horse. They need a pasture, they need fencing. It's not something you can put in your backyard. And so a lot of times those situations happen and people get in over their head with them. And that's why we end up with them. As they say, all that hay has to go somewhere. Yeah, it does. And this is where volunteers come in. We have the most amazing volunteers of any organization. This is not easy work, it's hard. You know, it's emotionally hard, it's physically hard, it's financially hard. And every volunteer we have sacrifices so much to save these horses and help the other people that are in need. Well, sometimes it's not just the horses that get saved, it's their barnyard buddies as well. Buffalo, llamas, emus, all of that we have taken in. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll try to network them through another organization if, if possible, but a lot of times, as you can see, we've got a little pig running around here. Um, she's kind of taken up residency here until her forever home comes along. Ultimately, Redemption Road exists to save horses, like Dash who went from emaciated to restored and ready for a new life. Dash is uh, lucky enough that he's got this nice couple that's come to look at him today. Mary Napy and her husband drove here from Covington with hopes of adopting a horse, and Dash is a good candidate. I brought my saddle and bridle, so I would like to give him a ride just to see if I can get along with him and everything. How do you feel about that? I'm excited. Uh, I have another horse that's a work in progress, so I was really looking for a good trail horse, and I think Dash will fit that need. Volunteer trainer David Williams has been working with Dash a lot to get him ready for this possible relocation. He's an older horse. Uh, I've rode him maybe three times or so by now. 
I'm hoping he turns out to be a good fit. Okay, you're up. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I really like the fact that uh, it's a rescue horse. You know that although mistreated, the, they brought him back, and he needs a good home. So I hope I can give him that. How do you think it's going? I think it's awesome. I love playing matchmaker. It's it's like a marriage, you know, it's got to work. Just a little bit I can help is what makes it worthwhile to me. You see a smile on somebody's face and know that a horse is getting a good home. Okay, let's go home. Yeah, you're going to be loved. I've loved him from the start. It's a process from the rescue to the rehabilitation and then to the adoption, and the adoption is the part that we love the most. Well, it's like a dream. My goals are to continue to rescue until rescue is no longer needed. I hope that I can see that in my lifetime, 